Do you guys have any idea what you're doing today? Nope, never do. I have a little bit of an idea. <laughs> no preparation is how I prepare. <laughs> no truer truth than the truth right there. <laughs> Well, today, end of September, mm. you guys are trying a bunch of Christmas treats from England. Seems fitting. <laughs> Do okay. they celebrate at the same time we celebrate Christmas? <laughs> yes. Okay. I think Pierre Noel, isn't that European? <laughs> they speak English. It's Santa Claus. Santa Claus? <laughs> He's Italian. <laughs> it's September. What are we doing this for? Okay, so in January, uh -huh. about, what was that, nine months ago, mm -hmm. we received oh, yeah. a box in our P.O. box from Rachel. I don't know if there was just delay in shipping, but it arrived almost a month after Christmas. Oh, okay. It was too late for <laughs> us to really do a Christmas video on the channel, but now we are doing it in preparation for this Christmas, being that okay. some of these products are going to expire. All right. Pretty so soon. you're saying we get the nine month old Christmas candy? That's exactly what Fantastic. I'm saying. Fantastic. Who doesn't love Christmas early? They're already right. putting Christmas out anyway. It isn't even close to True. Halloween. So I got a couple things for you guys. Oh my lord. Oh, no, ain't your lord. It's just me. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I forget what you look like with hair. Isn't it great? I look fantastic, Wait, man. I got bangs. I like get a little wild. A little All sunny. Right. Sunny and Steve back at it again. <laughs> Snowy. Snowy? Why would I be sunny? It makes more sense. That doesn't make more sense. <laughs> Now, if I remember right, Cam, when you were Steve, I think your hair was on the other way. Was it? I think, <laughs> let, let me see it. Let me see if Hold I Hold on. Yeah, I, was, I was thinking that was backwards. <laughs> I think you're right. Because <laughs> <laughs> then I had bangs. <laughs> Well, yeah, that makes way more sense. I have my emo hair. I was following your lead. It takes me back. It takes me back to high school. <laughs> All right. Well, it's Christmas time. Oh. We're fully prepped. Let's try some treats. All right, so Rachel sent you guys a cute little card. She said, Merry Christmas, Cam and Austin. Aww, thank, thank you, you Rachel. Uh, Just sending along a little Christmas cheer from merry old England. I don't know if you have similar festive food in the States, but I wanted to give you both a taste of an English Christmas. Aww. Merry old England, eh? <laughs> <laughs> can always count on you to just take it off the cliff. <laughs> We crack any jokes towards you UK peeps, and most of you get your your britches in a bunch, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Them knickers in a twist. <laughs> it's all sarcasm and jokes, guys. Oh. <laughs> Holy crap. Incoming. Cheese twists. Crispy coated peanuts. Sweet chili. Oh, this looks good. All right, so you've got cheese straws and chili peanuts. She says they're great for nibbles anytime at Christmas. Dude, this looks good. Oh, you got nuts. I got these are like coated nuts. Oh, yeah. Oh, those are way good. What are they coated in? Sweet chili. No, I mean the thing. What is the thing? Yeah, coated in a crunchy, spicy, sweet shell. Wow, that is like. That's way good. Holy moly. That is a lot wonderful. of times you only get like candy coated peanuts. Yeah, these are way good. But they I like the savory around the savory. They're savory and they have like a really good crunchy pop to them. Mm-hmm. They're like The bean on the side's like really cold. Yeah, on this the outside is not. not. It's got a good crunch. These might be my new favorite nuts. Well, you're off to a great start. Take a look at these nuts. <laughs> <laughs> got him. Whoa. Cheesy twist. Let's go. I love savory snacks. All butter puff pastry with Gruyere. How do you say that? Gruyere. Gruyere, Gruyere cheese. Mm. Oh, dude, this would be good dipped in something. No, like gravy. Mm. Maybe. Oh yeah, that actually would be really good. Mm. Wow, that would be really good. Okay, so these. These are bomb. These would be fantastic on a little concert venue with like a grassy rolling hill, mm -hmm. blanket, music blaring, a little bit of little bit of wine. This is a fancy treat. Listening to the Beatles reenactments, or what do you call it? Cover bands. <laughs> yeah, exactly. This is like such a soft crunch. Mm-hmm. Gruyere. 
Very yummy. Dude, yeah. those are way good. All right, we're doing good so far. All right, next we've got some mince pies. Hold on, did we like these or no? I don't remember having these. Have we never had these? What is mincemeat? It's got such is an ugly name. Mincemeat, is it meat that's been minced? What does mincing mean? <sighs> Sounds like another word for like cutting really tiny. Yeah. They are famous for meat pies. Let's try them cold. You wanna try them cold? Let's see what happens. <laughs> I mean, they look pretty fancy. Little, okay, I don't know. They got little them. pastry toppings of little tiny, uh... Lightly spiced mincemeat. What are those things called? It's vegetarian, so clearly there's no meat in it. Why the misnomer? I don't know. It's got little mistletoe like Mistletoe is, you know, like poisonous. Is it? It is. I don't think mistletoe is. It is. I don't Here trust for a these things. I know, these are weird. These are gonna make a mess. It's like sweet on the top. Look at oh. Oh yeah, this is made a mess. Oh, and it's really dry. There's the Sahara in my mouth. It's like a Popeye's biscuit got lost in the Sahara. <laughs> Holy crap, it's so dry. No, yeah, it's probably better hot. I feel all the water being sucked out of me. <laughs> Try and whistle. Let's chug. Wow, you gonna do it? Bro, I eat saltines for fun. What do you mean? <laughs> it is quite dusty. It's probably better warm. Should we try them warm? I mean, might as well. Wow, that was something else. Let's give her a Troy. It smells way better. Whoa, actually, that attacked the nostril. Oh, a little, oh. little kick of spice there for a second. Okay, that's uh, you know, a little bit more. Oh yeah, it's hot. Mm-hmm. Wow. I blew on extra. Mm. So hot. Now, it's hot and dry. <laughs> It's like Utah, it's a dry like heat. Just like the Sahara. <laughs> it's a dry heat, it's just like Utah. <laughs> Definitely way better warm. What is mint meat? <laughs> it kind of tastes like a fig to me. Is that a fig? You know what, maybe we'll never fig year it out. <laughs> wow. It's fantastic. Match matchmaker, makers, matchmaker, make me a match. Find me a find, catch me a catch. All right, matchmakers are a great after dinner treat on Christmas day. I hear Minty that. goodness, she okay. says. Matchmakers cool mint. Sword fight. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Hold on there, beaver. <laughs> oh, too many, too powerful. <laughs> You're not used to your breath being that bad. Oh. <laughs> we went from friggin' Sahara to friggin' Arctic Circle up in here. Mm. Ooh, I like these. These are wonderful. And this interesting little crunch in there. These are nice to nibble. Like, I don't want to eat the whole thing. I just want to like... Check that out. A little mintiness. Dude, they're great. You know what it tastes like? It tastes like shredded up candy cane in a... No! That's what it tastes like. I guess there's junior mint in there. You're thinking of peppermint. They're cousins, basically. They're bro, like right there. Bro, they're... They're like right there. No, bro. One's peppermint, one's mint, another one's spearmint. They're all in the Very same family. Different. Just because it has a similar, like, aftermath where, like... It all has the main ingredient. Mint. Would you say beef, pork, and chicken are the same? That's like comparing freaking beef, pork, and chicken to mint. <laughs> It doesn't make any sense. Would you say gala apples are the same as oranges? No, but I would okay. say okay. These, these different mints are that of the similarities between a Fuji apple, a Red Delicious, and a freaking Granny whatever. All very different. But same. All very different, but somehow the same. They're not the same. They're all apples. Granny Smiths are disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> you know, for giggles, the other day, Jess and I rewatched the entire episode of Men Try Rodeo Queening for a day. <laughs> I haven't laughed so hard in my entire life. So for those of you that are OGs, that or even if you're new here on the channel, you need to do yourself a favor right now. Well, not right now. After this episode, go check out our Rodeo Queening for a Day episode. You will not regret it. It is hilarious. All right, next. Care package. Oh! Lebkuchen? She says that this one is not British, but they love it anyways. Mm. These ones, I believe, are German. I love the honesty. Sounds like the British. <laughs> what about this sounds like the British? Tongue in cheek, you see that? 
What does it sound like, the British? Just saying, you know, to take someone else's thing and love it as <laughs> Bro, that is America, straight up. We are a melting pot! Are we, or are we Everyone just... brings their own stuff to the table, we all share. Are we, or are we just taking everyone else's ideas? And making them better. I don't know about that. Ooh! Huh. Ooh. Don't smell it. Yeah, it smells weird. Like a marker. That does smell like a marker. Like a scratch and sniffs marker. They legit have an orange peel and a cinnamon stick and a raisin on the cover. <sighs> raisins. What is that? Is that a raisin? What is that? <laughs> Dense. <laughs> like they hit. <laughs> like, <bonk. laughs> mm. Huh. Doesn't seem to have chunks in it. You all right? I don't know. <laughs> I can't tell if the mint from the last thing is like toying with my that taste buds. That mint is quite intrusive. There's something beyond the, the cinnamon that I'm It's like that about. loud girl work you try to ignore that's there, but you just can't. <laughs> <laughs> it's the orange. Peel. Yeah, it's the peel of the orange. That's the flavor. Gross. It's got that bitter after That's the part everyone gets rid of. Yeah. Gross. 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 All right, next, and this is something we do have in the States. Oh, thank you for saving my life. I got you. Steve, Steve? Stevie, Steve, Steve, Steve. just Steve. I love John. These things are great. They is are, a... they are obligatory in every stocking, she says. Obligatory. Yeah. There's a word for you. It's English, you know. Obligatory. Maybe they pronounce it like that. Obligatory? Obligatory. Obligatory. Who says oh, it which way? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Now you've got me questioning. She's just trying to be British. <laughs> <laughs> Can I do? Now your turn. Okay. Yeah! I love these for that reason. <sighs> there oh. it goes. Look at that. We did too well. Wow. These, similar flavor to those chocolate sticks with the gel in the middle. I don't know what you're talking about. It's like milk chocolate with just like this little hint of citrusy joy. Mmm. Love it. Boy golly, I do say, those Whoa. Americans. Where did you get those hands from? Freaking God. Should have played football. <laughs> what are these? This is a mini Christmas cake. She says it's alcohol free for Cam. They're usually brandy infused. It is very traditional fruit cake and usually eaten later on Christmas day. You guys just spend all it's Christmas day eating stuff? <laughs> My kind of place. <laughs> Jolly good, I'm British mother. <laughs> Is it Papa Noel? What are they called? Oh, it would be a fruit cake. You, you didn't hear it, miss that when she I, said it, and it says it on the front, and you read it. Yeah, <laughs> it didn't really click. <laughs> you ever had one of those moments where you're present but you're not? <laughs> yup. Yeah. Yup. What is going on? Look at how thick that sheath of icing is. Wow, that is. Bro, you can't break it. Can't. Bro. I can't. Think you can throw this to the wall? No way. <laughs> Listen to this. <laughs> Dude, I Dude, can't. Don't stab yourself. I can't, Shut man. Up. <laughs> no in, way. It's impenetrable. You're smashing. Oh. oh, you were literally smashing the whole cake down. I did it. I did it. Oh. All right. Okay, well, this one may be an exception. It's best before the 31st of January. 2022. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. 2020. Oh, it is 2022. 2022. Yeah, 2022 is almost over. So that <laughs> may be the reason for the rock solid. Oh, darn. <laughs> I guess, you know, for safety's sake, we can't endorse eating expired food. There it is. I mean, maybe I'll take a little bite of that. You know, the icing helps, but not enough. <laughs> but it's not bad. It's not good either. Out of all of the fruitcake we have ever had on this channel, this is by far the most edible. And it expired eight months ago. <laughs> Next, you've got the. <laughs> Next, you've got the Percy Pigs. Percy Pigs? Percy Pig! He's even in a set outfit. Aw, cute little guy. She said, this is a festive version of a popular sweet candy here. Made with real fruit juice. A little gummy candy. You love your gummy candies. I love gummy. So good. What the devil? Looks like a real pig. Watch it taste like bacon. 
or Canadian bacon. <laughs> oh, look at him. It's I good. love gummies. Oh, it tastes like a Christmas ham. Are you starting with the, the hood? I'm taking both. Wow. Oh my gosh. It's like almost Laffy Taffy-esque. Like marshmallowy Laffy Taffy. Woo, that just gave me chills of happiness. Oh, I love it. The gummy is like squishy, yet doesn't get stuck in your teeth. Yeah, what is the pink? It's got like a strawberry creamy flavor, and the gummy is incredible. Woo! Bro, where she live? We're coming to visit. The fold up couches. We're on our way. What are those? Uh, Mantra English Christmas. I would love that, dude. Merry Christmas. Merry, so Merry Chrysler. Ah, you're not Spider Man! No! Cadbury, if these things are anything like those Cadbury Easter eggs. Do you guys get the Cadbury Easter eggs? They have to. Oh, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. We've been corrected. It's not Cadbury, it's Cadbury. Cadbury! Cadbury Easter eggs. Please, Jeez, pull the car around. Make sure you got plenty of Cadbury in the room, in the boot. <laughs> Ooh, is it powdery? There's a snowball. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Don't look good, eh? Just like those uh, Easter eggs. Oh yeah. Oh, Fantastic. Yeah. Mm. Jolly good, governor. Reclaim my throne. <laughs> <laughs> Stalin bites. Again, she says these are not British, but it makes us feel posh offering it to guests. Posh? You think maybe they're like, I don't know, Soviet? <laughs> maybe a little USSR mixed in here? Wrong spelling. Maybe they're stolen bites. <laughs> Not Stalin, honey. I sure hope oh, not. I was like, wow, they named something. Okay, now that I look at it. Have you ever wondered what it tastes like to live in a gulag? <laughs> well, here they are, Stalin bites. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how it's pronounced. It does look like Stalin, but it also looks like stolen. Are these all the same? The freaking marzipan again. These are like cute little bites. Kind of look like little. Aww. A little French toast or something. Yeah. Maybe you put some syrup on these bad boys. These are pretty good. Making him dance. The one downfall. Marzipan. What do you like about marzipan? The texture. I don't like it. <laughs> What's so bad about the texture? It's not good. <laughs> it's all right. It's like two steps away from being a fruitcake. I like that a lot. <laughs> you took mine. You almost spilled the nuts. Pray limit. Ooh. So Very these, tasty. she just really loves these. They are mm. from a German shop called Lidl, uh, which is known for continental Christmas Dude, food here good. in the UK. Yeah, do. One sec. <gasps> that one looks yummy. I don't know. I think I got the yummier looking ones. I don't know, man. This is kind of like ding dongs and ho-hos. Yeah, look at mine. You can't even compare. Yeah, like a ho-ho. Whoa, those are tiny. I thought these were going to be way bigger. Little tiny things. Little tiny guy. That's fun. That's good. The crunchiness of it though. I don't know what that is. Almost has like a dry chalky texture. And I don't like yeah. that. It's kind of like, you know those green things they put fake flowers in? Yeah. When you're a kid, you just push yeah. on them. Yeah. It's that. Yeah. It actually has a like I mean, dark, I don't hate it. Has a dark chocolate taste. Yep, rich dark chocolate. <laughs> My wife would love those. Better than the poor white chocolate. <laughs> just a little nugget. A little nugget. I'm excited. Hmm, pretty much the same thing, but milk chocolate. Mm. Much better flavor. I do like it a lot. Mm. Ooh, it's a little, it's rich. Mm. But that dry, crunchy, like, freaks me out. I like it. Do you? Mm -hmm. it, it feels like my teeth are just about to squeak. You, you know, know what I mean? You like squeaky teeth? No, do you? I don't hate it when it happens. No one likes squeaky teeth. All right, you guys have to catch these so they don't break. Okay. No pressure. Way to catch them. They were both in your hand. No, they were not. <laughs> no, they were. They went through your hands to mine. <laughs> I never even got near them. Replay tells the truth. <laughs> I saw it. Tell us. I saw one thing, you saw another. So this is the Cadbury Winter Wonderland and the Cadbury Orange Ooh. Crisp. Uh, Rachel says, Cadbury always has seasonal bars like this. She it, loves the Wonderland you... bar with the cute little trees. It comes out like a tree? Aw, fun. Why don't we get cool things like this? The simplicity. Right? I don't know. 
I do love Cadbury. In a way, though, actually, that chocolate's a late hit. Mm hmm. Mm. I put it, I think it's a little better than the orange. The chocolate. Oh yeah. Is better with the Cadbury, but the orange flavoring is much better with the whatever whack it ball thing is. Whack it ball! Cadbury's <laughs> whack it ball. Sound like a weird kid wanting to go play some whack a ball. <laughs> hey guys, you wanna go play some whack a ball? <laughs> Got you this. Thanks, bud. I would love to play some whack a ball. You wanna play some whack a ball? <laughs> All right, bro. I, I whack it so hard. <laughs> So good at whack them all. Make sure you get a bite of both the chocolate. Stop, and Stop it. You're gonna make me choke. <sighs> so creamy. That is good. That's a fun one. Delicious. Oh, that's good chocolate. That's both delightful and delicious. Delicious. All right. Boxing Day Crisps. Maggie's. Potato crisp gently cooked to perfection. Ooh. Mackey's of Scotland. All right, I so Rachel hasn't actually tried these. She what? Ho she hopes they're good. Traditionally, Boxing Day, which is the day after Christmas, is when we use up what was left on Christmas Day. So they spend the day eating lots of turkey sandwiches, leftovers, more chocolate, etc. As one does after a big holiday. Yep, definitely curry. Woo! Cardboard? Ooh. Oh, yeah! I love curry, dude. It's an interesting looking potato. You know what it tastes like? Cardboard. No, it does not. A little bit. Nah, man. There's a hint of cardboard in there. That is curry 100%, but it did have like a weird taste there. I think the flavor of whatever we just had, the chocolate was kind of covering my taste buds still. Oh yeah. Okay, getting better. You gotta have a few to actually get it like coating your tongue, letting that curry flavor really kind of settle in. How is this festive flavoring? Got me. I could easily eat this bag of chips. All oh. right, <clears throat> last one, and this is a twofer. So first, Someone, one of us has to be Spider-Man. First, I need you guys to make this custard. Custard? Okay, instant custard. Is it supposed to like harden or like jellify? Oh, what a map, ooh. Yep, in that container you have some Christmas pudding. There we are. That looks like a bunch of raisins. That's exactly. It's what like a pile earth? of gross raisins. They tricked you guys. Ha! Diggity dang. <laughs> Gross! What is this? Go ahead and drizzle. I feel like we're getting pranked right now. What on earth? Drizzle, drizzle, drizzle. Do you know how to drizzle? Yes, but I'm getting it like... Drizzle, 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 drizzle. I'm gonna start with long top. Oh. There we go. See what I'm doing? See what I'm doing? You have done this before. I've drizzled a time or two. Am I gonna completely... How many drizzles am I giving this thing? I guess she said. I don't know how many drizzles I got left. I'm gonna get a little bit of extra. Drizzle? A little extra drizzle. God. Full drizzle, nizzle. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Smells all right. It smells sweet, mm. raisiny. Oh, I'm fighting some demons right now. Why do you put this in your mouth on purpose? <laughs> and on Christmas of all and days. And on Christmas. Oh do you my hate gosh. yourself? What's so bad about it? Everything. Everything. It's literally like a ferment or like a it's like a pile of raisins. The texture is extremely off-putting. So bad. It tastes like a heap full of wet, hot, mushy raisins. Yes. Congealed? Did they mature this in the bottom of a dumpster? I don't know. But then the custard doesn't really have a flavor. It's like very. What's custard? It's like sweet. It's very weak. It's just a light sweet. Like you need to dump all the custard on there. What are you doing? I was gonna pour the custard inside, <laughs> but then I realized I don't want to eat this again. <laughs> <laughs> 
Like, does this get finished? Is this something that at the end of the party is gone? I don't know. Or does it look like this the whole time? It might be like that. Ah, oh, this is so uh, gross. Okay, we were doing so good. Yeah, then you had to end With on a that. a couple minor issues, but the majority of this box was fantastic. And then you ruined it. These little boys. Percy pigs. Them little piggies. Oh, these things I'm no longer sharing. You've eaten that entire bag of nuts. It's my bag of nuts. Yeah, I know. It's freaking good. Yeah, these. Oh, I can't wait to have more of these. You get your piggy, I get these nuts. Huge thanks and shout out to Rachel for sending us this awesome care package. A year ago. A year ago. <laughs> <laughs> But hey, Christmas still came early here in September, and uh, I hope you guys are all having a wonderful holiday. Enjoy your Christmas, enjoy your friends, your family, enjoy your time here on this beautiful earth, and we'll see you next time. Merry Christmas to all, and all a good Chrysler. Yes. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this is why I shaved it off. No other reason other than this. Nothing to do with that Argentine barber, huh? Nope. Dude, I forgot I told you about that. That guy cursed me. Friggin'. What'd he say? Bendejo. Okay. <laughs> he said. He gave me a haircut and he's like, he's like, you're gonna be bald by the time you're 25. I was like, shut up.